Hello African Gold Rover, how are you today? My name is Haile Jesus. Um, you are, if this is the first time you visit us, this is African Gold Rover Academy channel. It's a place where we are going to teach you, we are going to share with you knowledge of how you can start a strategic business in Africa with low risk, with low investment. We really believe Africa will bring the biggest solutions to the world, but in a specific, agriculture in Africa will bring the biggest opportunities in the whole world right now. Now, the video of today, we are going to talk about creativity. Creativity is the key um, to start a business, a strategic project in Africa with low investment and with low risk. Now, many times when, if you watch the videos we have here on the channel, you will see how we talk a lot of times, or many, the majority of the time, about the model we use, we teach to start business in a strategic way, the, the match and business model. And in the match and business model, we always say, well, every single business must have an, around an area was to have really clear which is the market they are trying to, to focus, which one are, is the message they are going, you are going to, uh, to say to your market, and which is the media you are going to use to, to say your message. Now, all these things are around an area, but the strategic things or the most valuable things that are going to help you to start with low risk, with low investment, is innovation and experimentation. With you, when you have innovation and experimentation, you can arrive to the market with a powerful area, with a strategic business, with low risk, with low investment, because you are getting a lot of knowledge, and with all this knowledge, you are building, you know, little by little, all your project. And it means you have more knowledge, you put more risk. You have more knowledge, you put more, more I'm, I'm sorry, you have more knowledge, you put more effort and, and money, and you take down risk. You have more knowledge, you, you put more effort and money, and you take down more risk. Now, the real secret behind all this strategy, all this model, and it's something I think a few times I, I talk about it because to me it looks like very obvious, but it's not. We have to talk about it. It's creativity. Okay? The key performance, the key element in the whole model is creativity. Look, when I started what discovering and studying and watching these biggest entrepreneurs I always talk about, like uh, you know, Haile Hebre Selassie, or, you know, um, Desi de, de Salem, uh, projects like uh, William Kamkamwa, Peter Chike, all these entrepreneurs in Africa that are built in a strategic business, always, always started from scratch, from scratch. Now the real secret, the real secret is how they use creativity to start their business, okay? The most challenging thing is because you are trying to do, when you, are, when you start as an entrepreneur, the most challenging thing is because all your environment told you, is telling you that you are crazy, that what you are trying to do is really difficult or is almost impossible. Because, you know, the economical situation of your country, uh, the political situation of your country, the area is too risky, etc., etc., or it's too difficult. But the real thing is, all these entrepreneurs, the biggest entrepreneurs in Africa, and now I'm reading more about them, and I'm discovering the same pattern every single time, every single time, is they they use creativity in first place, okay? They observe a need in the market. Then they identify a possible solution. But they use creativity to use the materials and to use the things they already have in their environment to build the first solution, the first experiment, a small one. They understand things 
have not to be perfect. Must be uh, prefer preferently the things must be useful. Okay, usefulness is always in a better place than perfectionism. Now, they start building with the materials, with the things, with the resources they already have in their environment. Okay, and with this first project, they learn. They learn a lot, and they improve. And maybe they have more more money or more resources and they improve again and they improve again and they improve again all the time is like making a small model go to the market taste once you taste come back with all this feedback knowledge you improve the project go to the market again knowledge improve the market you improve the area go to the market knowledge you know, it's all the time. It's all, it, never, it never ends. It never ends. That's the truth. But the secret, the real secret, is, is just creativity. And to use creativity, you must to think in a totally different way. The whole world has been telling you, you must to think. I mean, you must to ask you why the world is like it is right now why the things happens as happening why are you thinking as are you thinking why you do the things in the way you do you must question it yourself all the time to think outside of the box to think in a different way to think from different perspectives okay and once you start thinking with different perspectives your brain start to bring in you more and more creativity now in Africa actually this is not something difficult to do because we have in the every single day a lot of challenges we have a lot of challenges every single day and as Africans we always improve them we always have solutions creativity solutions to all the, the, the difficulties we have we, we, we find in the in the day by day okay, in every single day the thing is we must use all this creativity all this um, motivation to focus in things uh, to bring solutions to the market you know to bring products to the market to improve our business without fear to sell without fear to go to the market and say hey I have a solution for you do you want to pay me for that okay this is really 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 important to have in mind creativity creativity even cre have creativity ways to sell okay I remember you know there was a fintech in in Africa I, I think it was in Kenya I, I, re I remember I listened to this story time ago but they needed to have social proof with the people with the market to make them uh, install the, the fintech the, the application in their cell phones and they contract two guys who are going to take a bus from town A to town B and all the travel all the way they were talking in a very high volume about the huge, um, the huge characteristics, the huge benefits this app have for uh, and bring for them. You know, it's very easy to have your money. It's very easy to receive payments. It's very easy to to pay uh, things. You know, they were talking about the benefits of this uh, fintech all the way. Here in the East, here in the United States, in the United Kingdom, in Europe, in Australia, in all these places of the world, you cannot think in that way. You know, the the marketing, uh, the marketing experts always will tell you, hey, no, 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 no. You must pay advertising on Facebook, and you must to have a lot of uh, um, reference from people, or you must to contract to a YouTuber uh, or an influencer, and him or she must to talk about your product. Okay? But in Africa things happen in a very different way. You must be creative. Okay? 
I, once I remember an interview from to Chris Fulayan, the CEO and founder of Health for Africa, he used to say the most challenging thing to start e-commerce in Africa is make uh, yeah, make the people trust in your in your e-commerce, in your website. And what he did is asking herself, well, which one is the institution in Nigeria with more uh, confidence from the people? And he said, he realized that it was the banks. The banks are the institution with more confidence from the people. Well, he go to the banks and ask them if he can put a poster of the e of the uh, e-commerce in the sucursals of the bank. Okay, in every single sucursal of the bank in Nigeria, he put a poster he, he, in, in the wall talking about his e-commerce, Mall for Africa. He put it in a strategic places, but in every single uh, bank sucursal. It was very interesting because the people go to the bank and watch this poster. In their mind is if the posters in this bank it means something serious something really uh, trustable okay in my personal view this is amazing this is a really creative way to sell the product the creativity is it's not only to create an idea it's not only about how you are going to build a product it's also how you are going to sell your product, how you are going to use the media, how you are going to make an experiment, how you are going to bring uh, to your company feedback to, to, from the market. Creativity is in everything, and I think it's the most interesting and beautiful thing to be an entrepreneur. You can use your creativity with all the freedom. When you work in a company, you not have always this opportunity. Sometimes when you work in a company, was to respect certain rules, certain parameters. You, you, you cannot think outside of the box because sometimes it's dangerous for the company, you know, make fear. But when it's your company, you have this freedom. And I think there is the real freedom of the entrepreneur. There is the real freedom we are searching for. Use creativity all the day, all the time, to everything. Okay, so the video of today is uh, a little bit uh, long, but it's about that. Use creativity to build your, your project. Use creativity to start your project with low risk, but in a special, in a special, with low investment. This is the key. Okay, if you want, if you like this video, if you like more information like that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a like, share this video with your friends, your family, uh, tell in the comments what do you think, but in the special, hey, in the special, subscribe to our Telegram channel and uh, go to the African Gold Growers Academy if you want to learn more. There we have special courses. First one, we have the African Entrepreneurial Mindset course in a very special price. We have uh, courses talking about hydroponics, you know, a lot of uh, business you can start in a small scale with low investment around agriculture we have courses about marketing etc etc so don't forget to subscribe to the channel my name is Hila Jesus I'm really happy to be with you again and well any comment any idea that you have any question you can leave us here in the comments or in in the telegram channel and we will be really happy to talk with you see you in the next video Bye-bye.